This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Thrillist. A high school student at Seagoville High School in Dallas, Texas, uh, was recently in the news because another student in his geometry, geometry class attacked him, and the teacher sat down and did absolutely nothing about it. Well, we have a local news story on this. It was done by WFF, WFAA. Let's watch the video, and I'm going to give you more details on the story. For months, Michael Milzanowski says he felt targeted at Seagoville High School. It was ever constant never changing, ongoing harassment. Last week, he says, it escalated in geometry class. What the? After an argument, he says, suddenly got physical. Another student attacked, knocking over the sophomore and then punching him at least five times. This kid was actually trying to hurt me, and I could see it in his eyes. Milzanowski just stands there. More troubling, perhaps? So does his math teacher, who never tries to physically stop the fight. It ends when the 17-year-old eventually walks out. I expected him to physically intervene to keep that from happening. Other students recorded the fight and posted the video online, which we blurred to hide the kids' faces. It's still sickening, though, for his aunt to watch. When I pulled up the video, uh, I was speechless. The teacher definitely should have stepped in. To me, that is the absolute worst thing. Dallas ISD would only say it's investigating and that it did take disciplinary action against the student. The teacher is getting support from the union. Teachers have intervened in the past. They have been injured. They have not been able to return to work. They have been reprimanded for intervening. So there's a huge question mark as to what is truly appropriate. We send our children to school hoping that they will be safe in a safe environment and get the education while we go to work every day. All right, playtime's over. Meanwhile, it's all been too much for Milzanowski. Just had enough. Enough is enough, man. Turn around. He's left Seagoville High School, too fearful of another attack, now knowing he says it could happen anywhere in front of anyone. In Seagoville, Jonathan Betts, Channel 8 News. All right. Uh, first of all, I, you know, a lot of people get on the unions for defending a teacher, right? But that's their job. They're supposed to defend a teacher. So I'm going to pardon them, not because they're unions and we're libs or whatever. Like, if that's what the union does, okay? I'm just getting that out of the way Let's to get to the heart of the issue, mm -hmm. okay? The teacher is an ass, okay? I didn't even see him in that tape saying anything. I couldn't. I he mean, was, I was literally standing there watching as this student was getting like, punched in the face several times, okay? I and mean, I don't care what your contract says or what your union says and stuff. I get they're going to defend you. But I, I'm asking you to be a human being. Exactly. You're supposed to use a little bit of judgment, okay? You can pull them apart. You can't just stand there and not say anything and just let this happen and wait for one of the students to walk out of the classroom. I mean, that student could have been severely hurt. He's getting punched in the head. So, you know, at first, uh, when the story first broke, uh, it seemed like the school officials weren't doing much about it. Uh, the, the teacher was not suspended or anything. But then another video came out, okay? So when the story broke, other students decided to upload videos. And um, uh, WFAA got the uh, second video, and we want to show it to you. It features two different students who also engage in a fight. And you'll see exactly what the teacher does. A circle with phones out while another student shirtless takes off his shorts standing behind the podium geometry teacher Lindell Muse the students square off as if in a boxing match and then the fight begins for 14 seconds the punches fly not until a student crashes into a desk do we hear an adult speak up Multiple sources inside the school say this is a common occurrence inside this classroom at Seagoville High School. It's the same classroom with the same teacher where Michael Milzanowski was attacked last week. Oh, hello, good night. Immediately fire him. Not even close. Yeah, not a union. Da da da. Get, get. The school, the school has now um, suspended him indefinitely. Uh, it's uh, pending more investigation. So w we'll see what happens. But 
he's going to be fired. He's done. Okay, by the way, if you guys weren't able to see that in the beginning of the second video, the student had time to take off his shirt and his shorts, no, no, indicating I'm going to fight, you know? No, no, no. He's encouraging. I mean, exactly. you could tell. I mean, this isn't like an accident. I mean, they had like 28 seconds to get in the ring there, and it seemed like the guy was enjoying it, you know? No, no, no. That's beyond unacceptable. But let me just say one other thing about the students in the fight, okay? Especially in the first fight. The guy who kept punching the other kid is such a punk, okay? Because the kid isn't fighting back. Like, he thinks he's so tough. He's like, ah, boo, 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 ah, 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 what now? What now is the guy's not fighting back. You punching him twi a, two times in the head when he's not fighting back is the biggest punk move. Thrillist gives you great suggestions for where to go when you're looking to have a little fun. Uh, best new bars, restaurants, events, services, anything that you're looking for, Thrillist has it. You sign up through Thrillist.com slash TYT. Go to Thrillist because it's the illest. Think about it. <laughs> that, that was good. good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> you are the world's largest dork. <laughs>